de bai ke nen mono asen ko bosin ke ta de na ina ma asem kan ko ti ko ya zero ya de ko si de a ko do nu pa na istan is 24 ai ke no te do nya bu update bu mo stama ki fene meno boda ana mo stama ka bolo we di bona zo ko si de fa na ma o fa ko do nu ko na ke no te do ni ro ko e ma de ko si de o e fa o te do ni ma ko kwa ni ro ko kwa aya chokun ge ya bife um ifa bo biaflam prime minister bi e kuri ya bife uh, a chomo ka kan ka baya bom mon ma chokun yo bna ge ya bife i de sia ya i drop your own comment your own contribution if you che bo stama ge ya biaflam prime minister ko ni do agopo master na jang government All right, over to you, sir. Third was the, the the problem that gave birth to Simon Epa today, because I said at a point, enough is enough. I cannot continue to watch by people being killed, butchered, and their hair chopped off by the terrorists sponsored by Nigeria State, the one that break the camel back. Is a story that I would like to share to people of Greece today. In 2021, after the kidnap of Mazen Amdekan, or in 2020 before he was kidnapped or so, terrorists attacked my village, slaughtered people that I know, slaughtered women and men that I know, cut off their head. And these people, I know their family, I know their children. And I watched this video. One of the survivors of this attack is still alive today. He saw Nigeria army as part of those who came for that attack. From that day, the anger I have for Nigeria multiplied. One of the victims of this killing by the Nigeria army in conjunction with the Fulani reside in Libya. He is probably watching this program. His father was butchered, head cut off. These particular killings, I documented it very well. I send it to the president of Finland. I send it to the, uh, I send it to Brazil during the time the so-called Allen White was still doing lobbying with the IPOB name. We compiled those things, sent to the United Nations, sent to everywhere. Nobody has been held responsible today. The next thing was the journalist that reported this killing was banned from entering a Bongi state government house to report about it because the aid. They reported about it. So some of you may remember when Omahe journalists from entering the boy government house. One of those journalists, his mother head was cut off. This is the first time I'm sharing some secret. But today, from 2021 to this date as you can see nobody have been arrested because nobody would be arrested i decided that in addition to all the killings of their friends from aba to the invasion of mazinam the colonel's house 
killing over 28 according to people they say there were people that were killed at numbers 100 they say it was 28 people that was killed in Oyendu's house couple to Mpo massacre this is a direct killing by the Nigeria state not suspected terrorists or suspected headers and I pray to God to opportunity to defend my people and that opportunity is here and I am defending Biafra with brutality very brutal nobody will kill Biafra again and live to tell the story that's why anywhere they are in Biafra land we will hunt them down it is the best self-defense in addition to that the independent state of Biafra will follow it with diplomacy, political solution, and of course, the defense come with the guerrilla warfare. We are not backing down. You kill us, we kill you back. They have declared that secessionists are wanted. They call me secessionist. Well, you can declare me wanted. We have also declared you wanted. And any place you see these people that are killing our people from Hopus or Dema, arrest them in Biafra land. Any place you see them, any day Tinubu will enter Biafra land, make sure he doesn't go back, we'll arrest them, arrest him. The same thing goes to Shetima. From this day, the target of the Biafra Defense Forces is to make sure that those sponsoring the killing of Biafras will not be allowed to enter our territory. We must not give them a British space. We must not allow them to come to our land and kill and go. The time of that battle is over. We will fight them toot to toot. We will fight them iron to iron. We will fight them gun to gun. We will defend our land to the last drop of our people. Yes. And they are running mad because somebody actually stood up to say enough is enough. For this to happen, we must understand that the enemy has planted this, you know, disagreement, disunity, fighting, and all that within the Biafra people. It is normal. It doesn't move me. It doesn't move anybody who understands what the government oppressors can do in order to weaken the collectiveness and the power of the people of the victim. And that they have done very well. Today, you see people who were fighting for Biafra many years ago. All of a sudden, they are not telling you that Nigeria, they are not telling you. And I want to make it very clear. Nobody owned Biafra. Nobody owned Biafra. Biafra is owned by everyone who believes in Biafra. Nobody is has the, the, the monopoly to restore Biafra. The only thing is that God has ordained some people why for giving birth to them from the beginning that they are going to be the one that God will use to restore Biafra. And today, we are here. And that's exactly what we're doing. Yes. There is no threat that will move us. And please, uh, the media team, look at the comment section and remove the idiot. Our freedom is guaranteed. Guaranteed by the laws, international laws, the United States, African Union Charter, and what have you. I am promising you today, using this opportunity of this uh, to, to Greece to promise Biafra people that in a matter of days we will start the legal process for Nigeria for reparation to Biafra, the Biafra government. That particular reparation will start a few days to come and the information will be public. We will fight Nigeria from all corners. We will fight them legally as this particular 
declaration is approaching we will make nigeria very very uncomfortable it is going to be the only target we have is to make sure that nigeria is uncomfortable on the declaration of biafra so we are going to fight them from africa union to the un to any other entity that nigeria is part of this is the next step of this biafra liberation is the application for reparation thank you everyone Thank you, Boyamon again. T. Dan Qualine, a Dicky Siveneso and any name, the Eastern is twenty four. A Cobum by Polun also, and I get a bumbo, let's hear the new update. Nibba Cuba stomacha, Cosiada, and Mastamaki Fedemina over there. Erickin, if one never get bo, but a poor chibo, Niba Cuba, or so the key be a bo, no dinkagi, can't give you why a bastamaka be fair. Cuba see the teacher. A cabaro kid drop or your own comment. On the commission below. Because the Oku because we me kudos for governor of the state. Open and doors also to him. If I if I'm a man named Oku, man I have example in the doors. I don't even know. Give me money again. This one is where I me I name the teacher. Me go Oku. I start to go car and I do no money again. Do no money only. Duro manafo. Usaya non kendi bojibiri. No ya duro nchani na ma. Anke bi yomu nchon wa nuni ye wotia. Ochoa yiku ochoa kwa ya diriri. Isa. 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 Thank you and stay tuned at Eastern News 24. Kebesi ya no mune.